Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound TiO2. So we have two different elements here. We have Ti, not the rapper, right? Where, where did Ti go? I don't know. He had such good songs. But anyway, I digress. Ti is titanium and O is oxygen. Let's plot where these two are on the periodic table to see what we're dealing with. So titanium, Ti, is right here on the periodic table, right? It's in this block. And all of this block are called transitional metals. So they're metals. So titanium goes in blue, blue for metal. O is right here on the periodic table. It's oxygen, right? And this is non-metal territory. Oxygen's always going to be a non-metal. So that gets colored in green. Now I have all the elements accounted for. So I'm just going to start naming. Titanium comes first. It's literally the first one of the compound. So that's a metal. And the metal name always stays exactly the same. So titanium is just going to stay titanium, titanium, okay? Oxygen comes next, that's the non-metal, and the non-metal always gets the I-D-E ending. So it was oxygen, but I have to turn it into an I-D-E ending. So instead of oxygen, it will be oxide. So you get rid of this Y-G-E-N, and you just put I-D-E, there's your I-D-E ending. So oxygen will always turn into oxide, when it's the non-metal of a, uh, you know, ionic compound. Now we say to ourselves, do we need a Roman numeral in this compound, right? Well, it always depends on the metal. And titanium, since it is part of the transitional metal block, I do need a Roman numeral. And remember, the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. Well, now how are we going to get the charge? Well, that's pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the subscripts of each element, crisscross them back up, see if they make sense, and then find the charge. There was one titanium and two oxygens. This one crisscrossed up, telling me that O was a negative one charge. This two crisscrosses up, telling me that titanium was a plus two. Okay, but now we just have to double check. Does the non-metal charge make sense? Does oxygen want to be a negative one? Uh, not really. I look at oxygen and it's in the negative two oxidation state trend. So I have to turn this negative one into a negative two, but that's easy. I could just multiply this by two, right? Negative one times two is a negative two, but I got to be fair. Whatever I do here, I got to do to titanium. So I have to also times this by two and titanium's true charge is now a plus four. Two times two is four. And that is the charge that goes inside here. So I'm gonna put a four here, which is like an IV, Roman numeral, right? Ooh. And now you are completely done. So TiO2 is just titanium four oxide, okay? This one was simplified. You could always simplify ionic compounds, okay? Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Good luck on all your tests and all your future quizzes. Um, if you want, subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I hope you guys are doing well, all right? Let's keep studying hard. See you later.